I'm Eric Heiss with the MLB.com FastCast, and that was Carl Crawford starting off the Tampa Bay Rays season in style, dropping in a walk-off two-run single to get the Rays by the Orioles 4-3 in their season opener. It took 10 frames for an A's walk-off win on Tuesday. That's when Mark Ellis did this. 0-2, right field, and that's going to win it for the A's. Mark Ellis on an 0-2 pitch, slices one to right, Patterson scores, and the A's get win number one in 2010. The Yankees and Red Sox were back at it on Tuesday, with the Yanks getting the better of the Sox this time, as Hideki Okajima walked in the go-ahead run for the Bombers in the eighth, and Robinson Cano added some insurance in the ninth. It is gone! It's Robbie Cano, but don't you know? New York topped Boston 6-4. to four. Zito delivers. Fastball strike three call to the outside corner. Barry Zito threw six scoreless, allowing just three hits while sitting down five, combining with four San Fran relievers to shut out the Astros 3-0. Reigning AL MVP Joe Maurer hit out one of three home runs on the ninth for Minnesota. Two outs in the ninth, 2-2 two -two pitch, strike three call. And newly appointed Twins closer John Roush pitched a perfect ninth to pick up his first save of the season as the Twins handled the Halos 5-3. And she's gone, Casey McGee. Casey McGee ripped out a three-run homer, and Randy Wolf sat down eight in his Brewer debut as Milwaukee clipped Colorado seven to five. And Everett Cabrera went three for four, finishing just a home run shy of the cycle. The 23-year-old shortstop drove in four as the Flyers foiled the D-backs six to three. For more highlights from Tuesday's action, stay locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.